oil with the heavenly host or your mercies and grace upon our life. Lord, we are grateful to you for giving us life. We are grateful to you for giving Anglican Day for the Trinity another eight years of celebration of your faithfulness. We thank you for the mercies and your faithfulness we have received from you. Lord, we ask that as we go into the service this morning, that you will open the windows of heaven and you will bless us. And your blessing will abide in us. And Lord, you will perfect that which concerns us. We pray, O oh God, that every one of us that comes into your presence today will receive your blessings. Lord, our expectation shall not be cut off. No evil shall befall us. Sir. The plans of the enemy against us will crumble and fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you will take us to that place of glory that you have prepared for us. Amen. Father, all those who have wished us evil, Father, the evil they wished us will go back to where it came from in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, the anointing shall be present to heal, to save, and to deliver. And Lord, you will bless everyone that will connect to this service through the internet and the, uh, the electronic platform. And your kingdom will continue to enlarge. And your blessing will be ours. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, amen. amen. and amen. Our opening hymn, or the processional hymn, praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation. No. <coughs> Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation.
Israel and to sing the entrance. Fight the good fight with all Together 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have not forbid every work according to the mind of Christ. We have made the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent to all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the unit of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who to repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who called your church to witness that you were in Christ, reconciling men to yourself, help us so to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be reconciled to you through him who died for us and rose again and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God now and forever. Yeah. Amen. Please, may we be seated for the reading of the Old Testament lesson. Hallelujah. I'm reading this morning from the Old Testament, Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, 1 to 6. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, 1 to 6. Unto me and hearken, ye people from far. The Lord has called me from the womb, from the power of my mother. Has he made mention of my name? And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he had he hide me, and made me a foolish sheep in his with quiver. Hide me. And he said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I spent my strength on not, and in vain. Yes, surely my judgment is with the Lord, and my work with my God. And now says the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. No, Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorified in the eyes of the Lord. And my God shall be my strength. Six, where I will stop. And he said, It is life then that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the preserve of preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a, for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. And be to God. No, 21. So we shall take the psalm that will be written in alternate verses. A psalm for today is Psalm 119, verse 113 to 128. I hate thy stop, but thy love do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield, I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evil doers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe. 
and I will have respect until I start it continually. Thou hast chosen down all them that air from thy statue, for thy deceit is for two. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like rocks. Therefore I love thy testimony. My flesh trembles for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgment. I have done judgment and justice. Lead me not to my oppressors. Be trusty of thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes fail for his salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimony. It is time for thee, Lord, to walk, for they have made for thy law. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold altogether. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts, concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the love of Christ was spread out because we shall judge that if one died for all, then we, sorry, then we are, we are all dead. And that he died for all, that they which live shall not help but live unto themselves, but unto those which died for them and rose again. The general says, For lo, we know man after the flesh, yea, though we have we have known Christ after the flesh, yea, now henceforth know we who know more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have all things have become new. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and has given the ministry of reconciliation, to wait that God was in Christ, reconciled unto himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors of Christ, as though Christ did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's sake, be ye reconciled to God, for he had made him to be sin for us. Who knows who know nothing that we might be made the righteousness of God in him? That ends the reading. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we shall take our Bible study. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a privilege to be in the house of God this morning. We're going to go straight to our Bible study. Um, what's our theme for the year again? Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Hallelujah. And our theme is in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And our sub theme is what? The supremacy of Jesus Christ over biblical heroes. Can we say it together? Now today we're going to look at a topic, Jesus and Noah. 
Last Sunday we left. It's a big right? Who was who was last Sunday? Jesus and Abraham. Abraham. No, Adam. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus and Adam, Amen. the first man. Today we're looking at Jesus and Noah. Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody text for us the book of Exodus 6? Genesis 6, 6, verse 9 to 22. Okay, I'm going to read that because it's quite a long chapter. This uh, is a 6, verse 9 to 22, and 1 Peter 3, 18 to 20. So 6, verse 9. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation, and Noah walked with God. Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was, was filled with violence. God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shall thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. The window shall thou make to the ark. And in a cubit shalt thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third story shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring the flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life of under heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant. Thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, and thy wife and thy sons wives with thee. And of every living thing, of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth, after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. God did nowhere according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Hallelujah. Amen. First Peter, say yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. For Christ also has what so far for for the church that he might bring us to come, being put to death in the flesh, but by quickening by the spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirit in the prison, which sometimes we are disobedient. When was the long suffering of Christ waited in the days of Noah while the ark was a preparing nearly to the sea? And so we are saved by the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. The aim of today's Bible study is to identify the similarities. And all differences between Jesus Christ and Noah, right? To understand the supremacy of Jesus Christ over Noah and to understand the role of Jesus Christ and Noah in saving mankind. Praise the Lord. Amen. Introduction. When the destruction of the world loomed in the times of Noah, God favored Noah, for he was a just and perfect man. Living in an immoral generation. We read that in the book of Ezra 6. Genesis, we read that 6 verse 8 now. God commanded him to build an ark for the salvation of mankind. The ark of Noah saved only eight people 
who were members of the household, including Noah himself. That was said in the book of Genesis chapter 7, verse 7, and Hebrews 11, verse 7. God's desire is to save us all. Not just a people, he gave the gift of Jesus Christ to save the world. And by his love, draw the world back to eternal life with God. John 3, 16, can we say together? For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus described his second coming to be like in the days of Noah. The book of Mark 24, verse 7, verse 9. We're going to look at that. Hallelujah. Now we're going to go straight to our study guide. Today is a very interesting topic. You know, God's word is, I mean, God's word is so interesting. It's so perfect. It's so, you can spend, I mean, you can spend a whole, I mean, months in the Bible and you haven't even started. It's so much, so much depth of revelation in the word of God. A lot of insight. Every day, God gives you new insight. And this morning, God wants us to talk about Jesus and Noah, hallelujah. Amen. I was going to discuss that. Please ask you, ask you, you know, this kind of Bible study, you guys have notes, make notes. You know what to do. You make notes, you refer to them, and you, you know, you study, you make it upon the word. That's our life, hallelujah. Amen. So today we're going to look at the study guide. Discuss the reasons for the destruction of the world in Noah's time. It's interesting that we're looking at this topic, and it, I think it, it, it bears upon our world today. What were the reasons for the destruction of the world in Noah's time? We are ready to go to verse 6. Can yeah. somebody look at it again? Read from 1 to 6, please. Genesis chapter 6, 6 1 to 7. And it came to pass, when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the face of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives. Oh, we they they see. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always cry with man, for that he also is flesh. Yea, he says that be as concrete and forty years. They are the giants out, and be say, and also after that, when the son of God came also the daughters of men, and they were their children for them. The sun became mighty men, which were of old men of renewal. Now, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. And he prepared, he repented the Lord that he had made man on earth. And he grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created. From the face of the earth, both man and the beast, and all and the crippled things, and the fowls of the earth. For it is the rule that I have made them. So, so wickedness, praise the Lord. Yeah, so it's called the reasons. Why? What was the reason for the destruction of the world in the time of you know, the Wickedness see. of the world, of men. Wickedness. You can see it. In fact, God repented. That's like, why did I create men? Their wickedness in heart is more. It's even today worse than every other thing. That was his only, that to me, that was, that he, he wasn't happy with men. They are full of wickedness. In working so, thought in everything. So, so one, I mean, Lord, thank you so much. Said one, you mentioned okay. already, said one is wickedness, and you mentioned the thoughts. Said, said the imagination of their heart was evil. Mm -hmm. What do we think? These are things that caused God to destroy the world of Noah. If God destroyed the world of Noah because of these things, I will say it's worse now. 
are we saying that we are on the brink? We are, we are, God is, I mean, the warning is going up. It's, I don't know why we're doing this funny today, but God is sending a message to the whole world. The end, in fact, we are at the, we are at the last of the last days. We are in the final seconds of the world. The, you know, the world is as if it's in best time because we are about to go. The wickedness of the world is so much. So number one, wickedness. Number two, the heart. People's heart, the imagination, their thoughts. Number two, what else? What else? Okay, we saw something here that we did. Look at that verse. From verse, it says verse two. The sons, after that, the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fed, mm -hmm. and they took them wives of all which they chose. Verse four. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Now, you know, there was, you know, you know, you know, one of you know, you know one of the servants of God recently said something. The last time they were talking, you know, they were talking about coronavirus, right? Talking about um, mm -hmm. you know, a therapy that can that can you know help people to to um to prevent you know, mortality, prevent death. And, you know, that, that's the, you know, uh, this doctor here in America, right? And she met, you know, she said what everybody, you know, who are with her said. And the world decided to, to just pinpoint her and begin to blow up some things. But interestingly, they only, you know, you know, she's interesting. They were trying to, they were trying to, to, to bring her down, but they only, you know, I mean, people like us would have known her. But now we all know her, and we thank God for, I mean, for showcasing his daughter. You know, what I bring up here, it says, the sons of God. Who are sons of God? Spirits. Angels, right? Now demons. Hallelujah. They are human beings. Demons began to mate with human beings. The Holy Spirit, husband, spirit, wife. They are in the Bible. People don't read the Bible, so they think it's strange. I, I, you know, are we together? It's here. And what, what, I mean, what, what led to the destruction of the world was this. When the sons of God, who used to be angels, but now demons, because they are in the, you know, they began to have, you know, you know, you know, you know began to mate with human beings and began to give birth to, yeah. to giants. Hallelujah. And God said, "No, that's it. I mean, this is. I mean, this is. This, I mean, this is it. God became angry with man. Hallelujah! And they bear children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. God, you know, it is not permitted for angels to marry. It is not permitted for 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 spirits to have. You know, just you know." With man, but in this place, as far back as then, it was recorded here that the sons of God, spirit, mm. began to have what okay, with, with human beings, with with that what the sons of men, the sons of God, by the sons of men were fed, and they took them wives of all they chose, and the Lord said, "But the spirit shall not always strive with man." You know why the devil wanted to pollute the human race? Why? In the beginning, God said, the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. The devil doesn't play with the word of God. He's only human being that joke with God. The devil doesn't play with God's word. When God, if God says, bam, the devil takes it serious. God said, the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. The devil says, oh no, what are we going to do? And the devil sent his, you know, his, his spirit. They came in human form. <laughs> and they began to what? Have sex with, with what? Ladies on the earth. And what happened? When spirits, I mean, they, they begin to produce whatever. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Not all human beings you see on earth are ordinary human beings. People argue these things. Oh, what's sending babies? Excuse me. You're asking for the heavy babies? There are many things you, you know nothing about how they existed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This, the, God's word is the final authority. Okay, let's go because of time. But these are all mysteries that are all 
up in the Bible. Everything you need to know, they are all here in Scripture. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that was one of the reasons, but one of the key reasons that made God say no. Because the devil was out to destroy. And if that continued, if God left that, there was, I mean, it would have stopped the Lord Jesus from coming to the earth. The, the world would have been destroyed. Forget it. Because how would Jesus come? It had to be through this two, two words because of the woman. And the devil was not, now came to what? To pollute the human race. Mm. That was it. God, God will take that. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus described his, his second coming to be like it was in the days of Noah. That's powerful. That means mm. the same things you see happen in the days of Noah will be happening in the days before Jesus comes. Excuse me, are we having those things happen to us? Yes. Are they happening? Yes. Let's discuss that. Matthew 4, the book of Matthew 24, 37 to 39. If you are there, you read. Yes, ma'am. 37 to 39. But as the days of Noah were approached, that also the coming of the Son of Man came. For as in the days that we are before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the days of Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood come came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Thank you. Verse 44. 44. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man coming. <laughs> Luke 17, 26 and 27. Luke 17, 26 and 27. And as it was in the days of Noah, Noah so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came. Mm. I think that for 26. Is that what you read? Okay, good. So, can you describe that Jesus described his second coming to, to be like it was in the days of Noah? Do we agree that we are we are waiting for the second coming of Jesus? Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Any moment from now, Jesus is coming back. Don't, I mean, don't get distracted. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of daily life, in the midst of the noise, the coming of Jesus is very, very close. Please, can you discuss, please, what did Jesus talk about, about his coming? Let's, let's talk about it briefly. Matthew 24, 
Who is this your Jesus? This you are talking of Jesus. You never come. He's still talking of Jesus. So and they didn't know that that day, one day, it will happen in time of year. And it was embarrassment. They didn't know. And they went to the air, went to the place. They cannot save them. So it's a little bit in this time. The people we are preaching in the morning, morning, kind of, you know, in the Jesus, 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 So it is still with Jesus described his second coming to be like it was in the days of Noah. Noah built an ark. You know, it, you know, it's it's it shocks me when I think about it. I don't know if do you know how big that ark, the dimensions of that ark. Building that ark, God gave them the dimensions. They were not to build it by you know according to what they think. You don't serve God by what you think. You serve God on His own merit. You serve God the way He wants to be served. You don't, you know, you don't, you know, you don't think in your head how to serve God. You have to, God gave them the dimensions of how to build the ark. But what's weird, how come that ark was so big, everybody could see it. He was doing that ark one year, two years, I'm sure he called people to come and help him. But how come, are they, you saw him building the ark? I mean, I thought they were going to think that, that's what I told the right? Like he's building the ark one year, two years, five years, ten years, twenty years. Oh no, like this man is, has got not. Like, like, like what's he doing? Like, <laughs> you, know, pe- you know, people laugh. Well, it's fine. We will know who will laugh last. <laughs> you know, are we together? We will know, you know, people are laughing now. They are busy doing so many things. But a day of reckoning is coming. A day is coming when, when, I mean, when, you know, when we will know who was wiser. Hallelujah. The day of Jesus, the day of the Son of Man. There as it was in that day, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. I mean the normal thing. That means the world will still be going on. And psh, it will happen. It said, therefore, be ye also ready. What should be our you know, what should be our own our own attitude? What should we do? Be ready for in the day in some hour as you think now the son of man coming compare and contrast the work of salvation of jesus christ and that of noah you know god god you know raised noah right to save the world to save it but how come in the whole world in the whole world of noah you know people you know people sometimes you know, ask me, do you mean that all these Muslims will go to hell? Do you mean that uh, God is not that? I say, eh, really? Go and check the Bible. In the whole world of Noah, not, not, that wasn't a town. That wasn't a country. The whole world of Noah. How many souls were saved? Eight. What is eight? A family. Noah, the wife, the three sons, and the three wife. That is the three, I mean, the three wife, no, the, the, the were the only ones in the whole world. And did God change? Did the world, I mean, did God stop being God? No. no. If God did it before, it will happen again and again. Do I say that this act, the act that Noah was building was like a church, you know, preaching the word of God. But they didn't listen to him. I will, I will need to some sort after that one. Okay. Can I talk about the ark then? The ark was the um, was, was single seed of Jesus. Um, in, this, in that sense, uh, the church of God that is going to expect the coming of Jesus is um, the bride of Christ, mm. the one that will be raptured. So you could see it in that way too, that um, that, that ark that was being built because there's a pattern. God gave Noah a pattern to build the ark. It was not just to build anything, just bring wood, bring anything, no. 
Likewise in the church. So what you see today in many churches is not really the act as it were. Because the church of God has a standard. Mm. The church of God has, there are, there are criteria. So you can't be a pastor in the church and you are preaching, and you are, you are preaching, but you are, your lifestyle is not showing what you are preaching. Uh, or you are a member in the church and uh, you are drinking alcohol, or you are, and then and you say that church is, um, that church is like, uh, no, I, I don't think so. Because Noah's act came with stipulation. God showed him the measurement, even to cubic window, number of window. I remember in that act that God had to use his own hand to close the door. Because he knew that if those people were shouting and crying and calling Noah, that Noah may say, God, let me open this door. But, so God determines actually who. And that is the Jesus as the only way. There is no other way. You can't go through any other way. You can't go through, um, um, you know, whatever they call it. It's only Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And that is the act that we see today. So when Jesus is coming, when you see all the signs happening, even when pastors are, you know, pastors are saying all kinds of things because of money. You know, people, pastors will not say the truth. The pastors are interested in their paying their mortgage, and they will, they want souls to wait. Is is a is is regrettable really, but I like that question. How does it relate to the the act of Noah? The church actually is that act that is preparing people, but not without pattern, not without uh, just come as you are. You just come as you are. You remain like you are. You are. No, it doesn't. It doesn't solo. Even if you come as you are, yes, we welcome you as you are. But you have to allow the word of God, the spirit of God, to change you. Mm. You can't you can't come as you are, and then you now come and be telling the pastor that this your sermon is always flogging me every time. Or this Bible study. What where are you reading this Bible study from? Because this is America for goodness sake. No, they're not just there, they are not saying all oh, these holiness, holiness. Why are you people talking about these things like this? That one is not a church, though. It doesn't matter how many people that are there. They are just they are being socializing. They are just doing that. Way. So that kind of place is not the newest act we're talking about. We are talking about a global church that God is preparing. And holiness, Mara. holiness and righteousness. It, is. it doesn't matter what I think about it. It doesn't matter what the bishop thinks about it. It doesn't matter what any pastor thinks about it. It is the word of God. It is the word of God and that is what will save us. And of course the word of God is Jesus. The word of God is Jesus. Amen. Praise God. You are seeing now that as here as a preacher will have a pattern to do. Yeah. The pattern is the word of God. Yeah. So any thought, no matter how holy ghost you are, you're not with the pattern. You are going no, to no, no, no. You are playing. You are playing. If you if you have a pattern that is not in the Bible. Mm. The holy Bible, not the Bible. No, 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 not the Bible of you know there are many Bibles. So. There is a, 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 a Queen James Bible. Yeah, they will, I was telling you about yeah. it. The gay Bible. There is uh, there are all kinds of Bible. Even new international fashion has been bought by by a gay person, and they are removing and they are removing some. Like if you go to new international fashion, you will see. Yeah. We go to this our memory verse for this Bible study, John three sixteen. The Bible can just say only begotten son. In that place, is not if they remove begotten. Go and check it. They remove. So that it will not be the only. Because when God was asking Abraham, bring your son. He didn't say bring your son. Because if they bring your son, he will say, he will, Abraham would have gone to bring Ishmael. But he said, bring your son. Your only son. Wunda woman. So bring him. Bring that man. So, so it's specific. So that's one thing, like you said. Any church that, even if pastor, let me, because you hear a lot of strange things. I talk with a lot of people. I hear a lot of things and I cry for the, 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 you know, I cry for people. And people, some people don't know. Mm. People don't know. And then they come to a church thinking that is, that is, they have they are met salvation. Only for them to be introduced into alcohol. Into, only for them to be introduced into womanizing. Uh, 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 married woman sleeping with uh, another married man. And all that. And somebody was, you know, somebody has been doing that in the world. 
And he said, let me come to God. Let me, I want to, with all these things that is happening, let me come to God. And he coming to the bishop or coming to the church. And then is the bishop that is actually the one telling them to be, you know, that it doesn't matter, that we are all sinners. And you say that it's the Bible. It's not, it's, that one is not a church. It's not. It's not. It doesn't matter what I think about or what I think. The Bible gives us the standard. The Bible gives us the standard. So if a pastor is anointed, he gives there, he has gifts, he can prophesy, he can see revelation. Of course, for witchcraft, he can see revelation. But he's not living a holy life. He's living in hypocrisy. No, it's different. If a pastor has a weakness and he says, God, this is my weakness. Help me overcome it. It's different. But when he now be, he will now use his right. weakness mm -hmm. and begin to say the standard. Mm -hmm. No, that is wrong. That is heresy. It's not in the Bible. It, it, it's, it's important. You see, you see, that's why Bible studies are very good. Because sometimes some things you may not, you know, just give over it. But when you look at it in the context of the Bible, that's what it says. Yeah. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says without holiness, no eye shall see the Lord. The Bible says that Jesus, he said it is what a glorious stone, without spot, without wrinkle. It is still the narrow way. It has not changed. There will be so many surprises on that day. And that's why all of us, we need to come before God. We are living in the last of the last days. And maybe a moment from now, like I said, two days ago, I saw it. I saw a big, massive airplane. It was coming down from heaven. In fact, it was almost fast. I think I could almost touch it. It was so close. And suddenly, I covered that. I, you know, I, I looked different. My hair was now flowing. I was like, wow. I think it was, I think it was like, I, you know, I just came down to air you know, and I, I just, you know, I just changed immediately. I was looking different. Wearing a flowing gown. And I came down and I was about to you know, but about people were still walking around on the road. Like, and like, can they see? There's no how you couldn't see that thing. It was too low. It was <sighs> the coming of Jesus is very close. Let us get ready. Let I am, let, you know, every one of us, you know, I, <laughs> every day we have to, we have to come before God every day. Present ourselves before God and let the hammer of the word of God, let it, you, you know, you don't read where you only want to read the whole, the whole counsel of God, the whole Bible, Holy Bible. Oh, yesterday I was doing a Bible study with someone and was sharing something and you know, I had to read. She was reading NIV and I, I was a bit surprised. The things I was, you know, the things I was saying, when she read them in NIV, there was some, you know, you, you know, it wasn't the same. I don't have a place, I'm going to have to get me a Bible, a King James Bible, okay? So you can have a new King James. Are we together? Mm -hmm. You can have a King James and other ones to, you know, for what? For comparison, all right? Like to explain more, it, that's fine for you. Mm -hmm. But for Bible study, why? Every single word, is, every single is and what is important. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If God begins to, if you end up, if, if God will open your eyes to the word, you can spend two hours on one verse, two hours on one chapter, when God is opening your eyes to the depth of that place. So it's best to have the King James Bible, you know, I, 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 I mean, that's the Holy Bible, and ask the Holy Spirit. He, he's the one that says his word. He will explain to us, praise the Lord. Amen. Compare and contrast the work of salvation of Jesus Christ surrounding us, and that of Noah. Scripture of 1 to 7. Let's just, let's, let's just look at it briefly, compare and contrast. Remember that Jesus, you know, Jesus came to save the world, right? God also raised Noah to save his world. Let's look at what happened. Genesis, seven, seven. Genesis chapter 7, verse 6, 1-7. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come down and all thy house into the ark. For thee, uh, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast, thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female, of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep to keep seed alive upon the face of the air. Yet for yet seven days, and I will cause it to ra to rain upon the air. Forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made 
will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was six hundred was six hundred was six hundred years old when the flood of, of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the, into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean beasts and of of, of beasts Thank you, of the Lord. Um, okay. Matthew six twenty six twenty eight. Ephesians 2, 12 to 16, First Peter 3, verse 20. What? Matthew 26, I'm going to read um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12 to 16. That at the time you were, with, you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world, but now only in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes we are far off, and made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition bearing us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandment, contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. That he might reconcile both unto God's own body by the cross, have slain the enmity hereby. Are you there? Matthew 26, 28, and first thing I say, verse 20. Matthew 26, 28. Yes, 26, 28. This is my blood of the new and of first and first fruit. New Testament, which is shared for me for the His eight souls were saved by water. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Uh, Can yes. you compare and contrast the work of salvation of Jesus Christ and that of Noah? Mm. A lot of souls were the one for salvation the time of Jesus and the time of Noah only eight souls. Okay, the time of Noah only eight souls. But the time of Jesus Christ, a lot more souls. Mm. I mean, you know, you know, it, it's like the door was open. We have mm. more people. More people can have access, right? Mm -hmm. To Jesus. Okay, more. And while So Jesus came for the remission of sins. Mm -hmm. So in time of Noah, I mean, it was only eight souls mm -hmm. that were saved. Mm -hmm. What happened? So, so God said, He says, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come down and all thy house into the ark for Jesus saved the came to save the whole world. But the issue is who is who believes. He came to save the whole world, but people are still going to hell. Why? They have made a choice to go to hell. Today the choice is for us, he who believes. Just faith in him, right? Mm -hmm. The door is open. You don't have to go to hell. You don't have to perish. But you have to believe. Mm -hmm. And believe is not believing, you know, if you in your faith without works is that if you say you believe, show it by the way you live. Mm -hmm. It says, to as many as came to them, he gave the power to become the sons of God. What is that power? As many as received him, to them he gave power. How? The power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The Holy Spirit of God is the, is the power of God. He's the one that enables us by whom we are sealed unto the day of redemption. Hallelujah. Amen. What else? He was righteous. He was, he was just. He was perfect. You know, to 
today people say you can't be perfect, right? People say that, right? Well, perfection is you know it has in the heart, right? Jesus said Matthew 5 for 8, be ye therefore perfect, even as your heavenly father is. It is God that knows the parameters of perfection. But one thing I know from the scripture, from the word of God revealed by the Spirit of God, is that it is possible for a man to be perfect. And many years ago, I asked God how. He said, as many as I led by the Spirit of God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, you are not under the flesh. Why? He's the one that will judge us, right? Mm -hmm. So if he tells me to go right, and I go right, I'm safe. Hallelujah. If he says go left, ask him. Always seek him. Before you stop, ask him. You can't afford to, to, to do things by your own thinking. It's not going to work. Because he's the one that will judge me at the end. He's the one I will stand before on that day. So if I, you know, if if I'm wise, I have to seek him. Lord, do I do this? If he does not answer, wait. Oh, people don't like to wait. You better learn to wait. I have discovered many times I hurry. If you hurry to do things, you will even end up spending more. What it, it will cost you more. So I think okay, fine. I'm learning to wait. The Bible says, wait. On the Lord. They that wait upon us and do what? Renew their strength. And do it. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord will help us. What else? Any more things here? That's true. You don't make That's true. He will never need you to do things you shouldn't do. The Holy Spirit is he, he's awesome. He is the one that enables us. He's he's all I mean. Live the Christian life without the Holy Spirit. It's gonna be legalism. Like it's gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be tough. No, you can't. It takes the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. God was grieved by what He saw in Noah's day. Genesis six. Genesis six six verse six. God was grieved by what He saw in Noah's day. In what ways do we grieve God today? Somebody. Let's read Ephesians chapter 4. I, I, I no, no, I'm going to read it. It's a long one. I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm going to read it and please we'll all share and then we can, you know, we you know, we'll have a Bible study. Ephesians 4, 7, 32. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord. That ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles work in the vanity of their minds, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts who being past feeling have given themselves over unto what? Lasciviousness to walk all uncleanness with greediness but ye have not so learned Christ if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him hallelujah mm -hmm. have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus and he put off Concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be you renewed in the spirit of your mind. Ah, look at the Bible study for this moment that God gave us. You are going there. And that you put on the new. I'm so excited. That was the Bible. That was the memory verse God gave us for the month of August, right? One of them. It's just what for. It was it. And that you put on the new man. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. That's a prayer verse for the month, right? One of them, right? What's the second one? Isaiah 43, verse 19, right? Say, well, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall he not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, a rivers in the day. So that's our two memory verse for the month of August. Wow. And see here today, and I put on the new man. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. 25. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth to his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. Or rather, let him labor, walking with his hand a thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needed. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, 
but that which is good. To the use of what? A divine market in your Bible, no? that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Are we all listening, children? And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. One, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you i feel like crying this morning spirit of god is speaking to all of us the God was great by what he saw in Noah's days. Mm. In what ways do we grieve God today? Can we can we talk about what we already spoke of a kind of before? If you have time, go back and take it line by line. Is there anything that is you know that is in your life? Let it go. Jesus mm. is coming. The master is on his way. I'm so excited in my spirit. I you know the the you know the church. That will, that, will, that will usher in, that will welcome the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's going to be a tough militant. It's the army of the Lord, and we are in the army. Hallelujah. Amen. But then the Lord is telling us who, how can we prepare to be sure that we will be all what? We'll be what? Presentable. We will, you know, none of us will miss it mm. as a rapture. So, can we talk about what ways do we greet God and how and what do we do today? Oh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down before you. Anger is horrible. If you will like this to God, just try to beat up your mouth. Because a certain word that will come from your mouth, I don't think go back. It's so dangerous. It's so dangerous. So number one is what? When and you're angry, don't sin. No more. Say no more. Be angry Please and say no, no more. Yeah, say no more. Thank you. Let us go find. Let's pick them. What else? Verse twenty-seven. Destroy the whole world. So what? Don't give sleep to the devil. Sexual immorality. Don't give sleep. Eyes up. On unrighteousness. When you see that unrighteousness, sleep. Because when you are there, you give sleep to the devil. So, so, so when you see evil, run. Don't even go there and start saying, oh, I'm going to. No, please. Don't even give any place. Don't give a foothold to the devil. They will flee all appearances of evil. Don't even enter you like evil. Don't even go there. Righteousness, purity as a child of God, prepared and ready to go to heaven. Hallelujah. What else? So many things that we Don't saw here. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. We saw here. In what way do we grieve the Holy Spirit? How? When the Holy Ghost tells you what to do and you don't do it, you are grieving him. What else? There's so many things are here. Putting away lying. Many Christians lie today in the church. It hurts, you know, it hurts. Well, you know, you know, it hurts. One, of the, one of the things that hurt me that I see in churches is that you are the people. You are saying something. We all say something. But people go back and they do something else. And, and, and it hurts a lot. But they are many too because, I mean, people are different. They can do whatever they want. But it, 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 you know, it's hot when you say we are together, we are saying something, and you've been a different thing. Put away lying. Let our yes be yes. Let our no. That, that is what it's all about. It's all about. Right? We are one. Not we say yes and, and all means no. That is laughing with you, but behind. No. No. I, I mean, praise the Lord. Bitterness. Bitterness. It has its name. In fact, so. Even in family, you say forgiving, what is it? I guess for you. It says in the Bible that whatever comes out of your mouth is what is supposed to happen. It's true. I 
will be judged mm -hmm. by what he said. Let no, not be no, what is your heart is not defined by man. So out of the heart, the mouth, the mouth speaks. speaks. So watch your heart. Guard your heart with all mm -hmm. diligence. Out of it are the issues of life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't God has called her first to be cognizant of whatever they did to themselves. You don't talk to your husband. And you will come to the prophetic spirit. I don't know what they're preaching. Is it the word of death or the word of God? I don't know. No, because when you are married, yes, you have to give example. When you're talking about marriage, you try to with a, maybe a new couple, he looks at you as the deaconess of the church, you know, to emulate goodness on how you live and not how you, you know, you'll be talking to your husband, you, you are taking photographs, you are wearing the best, and you deaconing. And then you call yourself an elder, you call yourself a mother in the church or whatever they give. And you see in the church, they give the title to God that they will get money from and not someone that says the truth. They will call you a mother in the church that you are evil. What are you teaching? What are you teaching to the young ones that are coming? What are they investing? Wickedness, money, to have to treat the husband. So oh, oh, I don't know how I don't Thank know what to so say. Much. We see all these things today. Thank you so much for praise the Lord. We see all these things going on. In family, in just here. What is money? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, what is money? Money is when you, you, don't, talk you don't talk to somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, somebody says, I forgive, but I can't forget. Yes. Well, I'm forgiving, but I, I, I can't talk to you. You know, 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 May the Lord help us. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say, Deborah? Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. What do you say? We should speak the truth. Hallelujah. Conclusion. As God made a covenant with Noah, so he has made a covenant with us through Jesus Christ. And whosoever believes in him should not perish, but eternal life. God will never break his promises. Therefore, let us be careful about his second coming, unlike the people of Noah's time. We should be living. I will give your
Whether you are not sure that if you die right now or if Jesus happens to appear now, you're not going. But just say this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come before you today. I've heard your word today. Father, forgive me for all my sins. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Sanctify me. Bless me, Lord. Give me the power to go and sin. Present myself and every one of us all over the world, souls of men that Jesus died on the cross for. Many who don't even know the left from the right. Many who have never encountered the Lord Jesus. Father, we ask for mercy. Have mercy upon the souls of men today. Lord, eternity is a long time to be wrong. Jesus said, If your eye caught you to sin, you know, better, 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 it's better to enter. Life with one eye and to go to hell where the worms do not die, where the fire is not quenched. Father, please prepare us for the coming of Jesus. Help us in this holy life. Help us to live a life of righteousness. To put on the new man. The flesh is it, not going to work. Struggling with work. He said, work in the spirit. He said, he that is in the flesh cannot, he found the thing, cannot believe you. You said it, you said it clearly. That they will die to self again. Mm. Let them die to us. Let pride die. We give up. We, we give ourselves away. We lay our life on the altar. Have your way in our life, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
all the life of the Nigerian shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Every mountain of wickedness, every mountain of the human tribe, every mountain of wickedness, every mountain of all the church leaders shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Every mountain of wickedness shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Every mountain, every mountain of confusion, every mountain of desecration, every mountain of wickedness, every mountain of witchcraft shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful because you have given us the power and the ability to trample upon snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means pass up in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand on the word of God. We stand on the power in the word of God. And we resist every plan of the enemy, every agenda of the enemy, every agenda of wickedness, every manipulation of the wicked, every negativity, every manipulation, every invocation, every evil sacrifice, every manipulation of the enemy. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every name of astral projection. Let them be destroyed. The Bible says that all ye gods that do not make the heaven and earth. You shall perish in the name of Jesus. All you gods that do not make the heaven and earth, you shall perish in the name of Jesus. All you gods that do not make the heaven and earth, you shall perish. All you necromancers, all you witches and wizards, all you good, all you occult powers, all you negative powers of darkness that do not make the heaven and earth, you will perish in the name of Jesus. You will perish in the name of Jesus. All you gods that do not make the heaven and earth, you will perish in the name of Jesus. We bring judgment against you. We bring judgment against you by the word of God in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that the Bible says that anything that God has not planted, the Lord will let them be uprooted. Anything that God has not planted shall be uprooted. Go through your mouth and declare anything that God has not planted in our life, anything that God has not planted in our marriages, in the church of God, in this diocese, then let them be uprooted. Whatever God has not planted, uh, let them be uprooted uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, anything that God has not planted uh, in our primates, uh, in the life of the church of Nigeria, let them be uprooted. Uh, anything that God has not planted in the house, uh, in the church of God, uh, Lord, let them be uprooted uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare by the Spirit of God, by the Word of God, every building in the White House that has not been planted, Lord, Negativity in the land, negativity in the sea, negativity in the dream, negativity 
everywhere. We cancel them. Negative against the church of God. Lord, we cancel them. Negativity against the kingdom of God. Let them be canceled. Every negativity against the Majed Prophet. Let them be canceled. Every negativity against the church of God. Against our diaspora. Against our mama Bishop. Against all the leaders of the church. Let them be canceled. Every negativity. Everywhere. Father, we can let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. Let every spiritual code runner. Every spiritual code runner. Let them I'm going to ask it in the name of Jesus. If a cold runner or party cold runner, satanic cold runner, be destroyed by the finger of Yahweh, be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. The Bible says, No. No weapon and formed against me
the Spirit of God, by the power in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have got every pregnancy of negativity, every pregnancy of accident, every pregnancy of oppression, every pregnancy, we have got them in the name of Jesus. We have got every pregnancy in the name of Jesus. We have got the pregnancy of darkness. We have got the pregnancy of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Oh, we are not afraid. Say, anyone that is a lawful captive, let them be delivered. Oh, God, arise and deliver every lawful captive in the name of Jesus. Deliver every lawful captive. If I have become a lawful captive, Lord, deliver me in the name of Jesus. If the church of God has become a lawful captive, Lord, deliver the church. If the Lord has become a lawful captive, Lord, deliver him in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver your children. Deliver your children. Deliver our members. Anyone has become a lawful captive. If the diocese has become a lawful captive, Lord, deliver the diocese and the candidates of the Trinity. Lord, deliver the church of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth and pray. Say, oh, Lord, arise. Contend with them that contend with us. Contend with them that contend with us. They that contend with our spiritual growth. They that contend with our physical growth. They that contend with our blessing. Oh, God, arise. Contend with them that contend with us. Fill them with their own blessing. Let them become their own blood like sweet wine in the name of Jesus. Lord, fill them with their own flesh and let them become their own blood like sweet wine in the name of Jesus. No manipulation of the enemy is permitted over us in the name of Jesus. I lay no flying zone over my head. I lay no flying zone to wickedness over my life. I lay no flying zone to occultism, to witchcraft, to voodoo over my life, over my affairs. In the name of Jesus, I will exhale whether the enemy likes it or not. I will succeed. I will prosper. The Bible said, if I am willing to be this, I will eat the good of this land. Father, I am willing to be this. I will eat the good of this land. We will exhale. We will succeed. We will finish stronger. We will perform the purpose of God in our lives. Shall be fulfilled. The kingdom of God shall be enlarged. In the name of Jesus, anyone that is set captive, we release them. We shall be kept captive free. We release the captive. Every captive, captive to pornography, captive to addiction. Passing to straight stop across substance abuse. We set them free right now. Wherever they are, let them be set free in the name of Jesus. And this was why Jesus was in manifest that he might destroy all the works of the devil. All the works of the devil. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed by the Spirit of God. Let them be destroyed by the finger of Yahweh. By the power in the name of Jesus. Oh God arise. You are the God that has a prayer. Unto you shall all flesh come. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Lord, you are one.
the kingdom of the Lord shall be spread abroad mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We pray that the souls of men shall be won into the kingdom. We pray, O oh God, that the iron, the fire in the altar of God will never go down. Mm -hmm. It will go higher and higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we declare that upon this mountain, let there be deliverance. Mm -hmm. Let there be holiness. And we, your children, possess our possession. Mm -hmm. Lord, as we join all the churches in the diocese, to appreciate you for your faithfulness in this diocese. Now continue the good work you have started and bring it to a logical conclusion. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we pray that this diocese will not end in shame. Mm -hmm. This diocese will fulfill the purpose of God for mm -hmm. establishing it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This diocese will not be hijacked by any man or any woman. Mm -hmm. This diocese will fulfill the purpose of God for him. Mm -hmm. Father, everyone, anyone that has been a slave in anywhere, Father, we declare their freedom. We declare their liberation mm -hmm. from every addiction, from every wickedness. Mm -hmm. And Lord, you will set them free in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for Donald J. Trump. Lord, all the conspiracies, all the accus accusations against him to frustrate him, the second time beat. Father, they will fail, like you said, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that you will perfect everything that concerns this country. Mm -hmm. Everything that concerns the kingdom of Christ in this country, you will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, prepare us for the coming of Jesus. Prepare us. May we not be taken on our way. Mm. May we be prepared and ready, waiting for the master every time. Mm. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Mm. Father, may your word bless us. May your word prosper us. May your word ignite us. May your fire never go down in us. Mm. May you continue to show us. Even when we come to a crossroad, we don't know what to do. Father, show us. Mm. Cause us to hear the voice that mm. will say, Look, Here is the right way, walk in it. And Lord, give us, walk in us, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen. And let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Let's sing one verse of that, one stanza of that hymn, the gradual hymn. Christ is a cornerstone. Christ is a cornerstone on him alone we build with his truth and alone the cause of heaven I have known thee, 
and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and we declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Father, bless the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart. We take authority against every spirit and every knowledge, every power that opposes the flow of the word of God. And bring them to submission to the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to congratulate every one of us. We want to we thank God for all our lives. We want to thank God for his faithfulness in the Anglican Dallas of the Trinity. Today, actually on Wednesday was the eighth uh, year anniversary of the Anglican Dallas of the Trinity. Day. Missionary Dance of the Trinity, now Anglican Dance of Trinity. Um, we had a prayer session uh, hosted by the Lord Bishop, the Assistant Bishop, the Right Reverend Amos Fabamie, on Wednesday, where all the pastors and all the suffragan bishops and all the lay people that were assigned all prayed. And it was good to pray. It was good to hear the word of exhortation from the, one of our reverend propaganda bishops, the right reverend at Dewu Mi. Uh, today, we are privileged to read to us um, the, the Episcopal message for today um, by our Lord Bishop. The eighth the Assistant Eight Anglican Dance of Trinity Anniversary Greetings. Greetings on the occasion of the eighth anniversary of the creation of the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity, um, marked on Wednesday, August 19, 2020. My beloved people of God, as we mark the eighth anniversary of the creation of our diocese, we like to congratulate our suffragan bishop and mama bishop, our clergy and their wives, the chancellor and our diocesan officials, the knights, our men and women, youths and children, and indeed all parishioners in our churches in the central area, in the four regions, and our two congregations in Japan. To God alone be the glory for the birth of Anglican Diocese of the Trinity on the September 24, 2011, and its inauguration by the former primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Oko, on Sunday, August 19, 2012, in a colorful Inauguration service in Indianapolis, witnessed by many church dignitaries, including the Archbishop Bob Duncan, former primate, Anglican Church of North America, Acna, other archbishops and bishops, notably the retired bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West, the Right Reverend Dr. Peter Adebi and his wife, Mama Caroline Adebi of Blessed Memory and the right Reverend Martin and Mrs. Angela Mee, the pioneer and retired missionary bishop of Canaan. 10,000 tongues can never be sufficient to pray and give thanks to the Almighty God for his faithfulness, mercy, and the provision that facilitated the growth and achievement of adults within these eight years of our existence. All this should affirm to everyone that God is with us mm. and that Christ our Lord shall continue to reign as King amongst us. Consequently, on this special occasion, we all
in spite of the challenges we face, the threat to our existence. Brethren, be encouraged by the assurance of the word of God in Acts Apostle chapter 5 verse 39 that but if if Adam is from God you Adam enemies and adversaries will not be able to stop these men adult men and women youth and children you will only find yourself fighting against which is ever active and powerful. It is to us also in adults that it said the Lord has commanded us in adults. I have said to you adults as lamb unto the Gentiles that you adults may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, verse 47. Let us, as missionaries and soldiers of Christ, engage our high gear and get set to move faster. We must not move, move in the reverse. No retreat and no return to Egypt. We must march forward to conquer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Adults have come to stay, and we shall continue to march on. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Hallelujah. Amen. On this note, we urge you all to rise up and sing to reaffirm our resolve to continue to fight. Amen. Uh, the good fight with all our might. Maybe we'll just share this so that um, we can all have, if we need to sing the hymn that is on the second page. Fight the good fight with all thy might. Fight the good fight.
Amen. Amen. The right Reverend Amos and Mama Abike Fabamie, their two sons, and Mama Adol. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the message from our Lord Bishop, the servant leader in the office. In the few minutes that we have, we want to consider from the book of Isaiah we read our Old Testament lesson. Isaiah 49. I read from verse 2. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. And in the shadow of his hand has he hid me, and made me a polished sharp. In his quiver has he hid me. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Mm. Verse 4. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength on for naught, and in vain. Yet surely my mm. judgment is with the Lord, and my walk is with my God. And now say the Lord, that formed me from the womb to be his servant, mm. to bring Jacob again to him. Thou Israel be not that though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glo glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. May the Lord bless the reading mm. of his word in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now the topic we are considering today. Mm is in verse 3 and said unto me thou art my servant O Israel mm. in whom I will be glorified you see brethren when when people talk about glory people like glory people like finished work mm -hmm. People like when clothes are made. I remember one of those times I visited a tailor in Nigeria, sewing my clothes. And the man has promised that that clothes will be ready by that time, but the clothes was not ready. And when I got there, he was still cutting the the clothes, the material, trying to cut them into. So I sat down there, even though I was angry, but I learned something. Because those clothes, those materials he was cutting, by the time he used this machine, and then sold them, sold them, sold them, sold them, he, he now brought a cloth that was looking so beautiful. But before that time, there was a lot of cutting. And then when that cutting is coming, it's coming with pain. Mm -hmm. It's coming with a lot of a lot of I don't want I don't, I don't want this. It's painful. Sometimes he will sew it and then he will say, No, 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 I missed something. He will go back and then he will he will use this uh, so one one iron like that and just hook it and, and draw it like that, draw it like this and do this. And then he will sew it again. That is a huge lesson on its own. You see, when I wear that clothes, does that mean that I know that that clothes went through that process? No person who sees me wearing that clothes will know that that clothes went through that process. And that's one thing with glory. People like to see glory. People like to see demonstration of glory, demonstration of power. But there is something behind the glory. Mm -hmm. And which is what the Lord is calling our attention to today. 
as we come to the second the last Sunday before we end the month of August. And that is the relationship, the ministry of servanthood. That place we read said, and he said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel. So you can put your name there. Thou art my servant, O Ephraim. Thou art my servant, O Christ the King. Brethren, if we are not ready to be servants of the Lord, you cannot talk about sharing His glory. It is only if we can be a servant. If I can be a servant. If you can be a servant. Unto the Lord God. Then. He will bring glory. Remember the place we read in doing the Bible study. It said Jesus has shown them his glory. Even the place we read the gospel. He said his glory that the glory God has, yeah, which he gave to him, he has also given to them. And he is praying for those who will not only hear them, but those who will come to receive the word through them. So that the glory they will have, which is the same glory I have, which is the glory I've given to me, it is the glory they will all have and manifest. But for that glory to come, brethren, we need to be servants unto the Lord. What does it mean to be a servant? I checked in the dictionary what it means to be a servant. A servant is a person who performs duty for others. Is a person who is a personal attendant, devoted, and a helpful supporter. A servant is interested in the welfare of others. A servant puts the interest of others mm. above his own personal interest. Mm. That is not what we are saying today. Even when people give prophecy, even when people preach, they preach in a way that will exonerate them and ensnare other people. That is not service. Remember, Jesus told them, you know, the, the parents of the mother of uh, James and John brought his children to Jesus and said, I, I want my, this one to be by your right, this one to be by your left. And Jesus laughed and said, you don't know what you are saying. <laughs> You don't know what they're saying because if, if this one can follow the one, I'm go, the path I'm going to follow. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the path of service. That's the path of servanthood. That's the path of serving others. Not serving myself. Not serving yourself. But placing others above us. When we learn to place others' interests above our interests, then that is called servant or servanthood. But if we don't, if we still place our own interests above other people's interests, then we will not serve. Amen. Amen. If we don't place other people's interests are critical before our own, then we cannot serve. Then glory will be still far. The glory will be still far away. So we need to pay, pay the price of servanthood. Remember, it was in the Bible study we did on Wednesday. And we are talking about, um, was it Wednesday? We, we are talking, what in the morning Bible study? We were saying something. We said, um, I think it was, was it Esther that said that? She said, whom shall I send? And who will go for us? 
And Jesus said, Here am I. Send me. Now, there, was, there is an interest in the heart of God that needed to be done. And God wanted somebody that will do it. And he asked that question. Who shall I send? Who will serve? Mm. Who will go for us? Mm. There was silence until Jesus answered. Say, here am I. Mm. Some people will say, here am I. Send him. <laughs> here am I. I am here. I am here. I am here. Here am I. But send him. <laughs> that is not the answer to servanthood. Jesus answered that call. So, when the Bible is saying he has made us a servant, a servant, he's not making us what he has not become. So, for pastors, hear my word, but don't follow what I do. That is wrong principle. Jesus is calling us to be servant to him because he has been a servant to the Father. In our last Bible study, we were talking about uh, the Nicene Creed, mm -hmm. the place of the Father, mm -hmm. the Son, the, pla the place of the Father and the Son. And we read it in the Gospel, the read, the gospel, the gospel we read a few minutes ago, that it said, I and you are one. Mm -hmm. I and the Father are one. Mm -hmm. How does it happen? That means Jesus put the interest of the Father above his own. He was in glory. He was in heaven. He was, he was in joy, so to speak. And God asked that question. And when God asked that question to the whole nation, no one answered. He left that glory because the Father had interest. The Father's interest was to save man. Man that has he enjoys communion, fellowship with. He has to save him. But who will go for us? And he said, here am I. Send me. And he answered. Was it easy? No. no. It wasn't easy. Because when he came to that point in Gethsemane that he was crying, he was praying. The people he went there with were all slept off. But he was praying. Let this cup pass over me. So it was not easy. The Bible said, the sweat that came out of his body was like blood. You see, when we say pray, any prayer meeting you attend, and you are not sweating, you are not praying. If you go for prayer meeting, even pan is there, even AC is there, and you are not sweating, that prayer is, uh, is just like uh, rice and beans prayer. Jesus, as an example, said, the Bible said the, when he was praying, he prayed, he wasn't shouting as per se, but he realized that his sweat, sweat was coming out. But this time it was not just sweat, it was blood. That is the price of servanthood, brethren. We are going to talk about the instrument of servanthood. But we are trying to, because of our time, we are trying to see how we can get them all together. But the important thing here is a lesson from Jesus that we are learning. He yielded himself. The book of Philippians chapter 2 tells us he humbled himself. He humbled himself and became obedient even unto death. Jesus humbled himself. Humility. Without humility, you can, we cannot serve. When God is calling us to be his servant, that means we will place God's interest above my personal interest. Sometimes, I want to give offering. I struggle. I, I have like um, ten dollar, five dollar, twenty dollar, hundred dollar, and I say, God, give offering. 
and this side to work. How will I do this? In my own interest, I want to keep back the bigger one and bring the smaller one. Often times, God will say, once I bring the smaller one and put back the bigger, God will, will start having trouble in my heart. That is not my interest. Mm. And I have to make a U-turn to do what he wants me to do. Mm. Brethren, that is servanthood. A situation where God's interest is what moves you. Not, not my personal interest. Not what I want to gain. We have seen that in this country, we have not stayed very long. At least, they have stayed longer than us. In this country, people do things because of what they are going to gain. If they look at you and say that if they give you something, you can't give them back. They won't give you. But that is not godly. Glory far for such. Because there's no glory there. The Bible is showing us that for glory to come, we need to be servant to the Lord. I mean, the glory that comes from God. You know, there's, there are many glories. The sun, the moon, they all have their different glory. The stars have their glory. So likewise, you call my name, you find it. You call your name, you You call your name, you All of you have different glory. You call your name, you say, uh, you say, uh, 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 All have their glory. Each other have their glory. Everyone have their glory. But that glory, is it the glory that the law wants for us at the time? is a function of our service to him. Is a function of my service to him. That's why I don't have time to compare myself with any person. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, they that compare themselves to themselves are not one. You cannot be a servant. Listen, do you know why there is addiction in this country? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, whoever you yield yourself to, you have become a, sa a slave or a servant to. So if you use yourself to become a, a, a slave to alcohol, you have become a servant to alcohol. That means your interest is no more there. You are serving the interest of alcohol. Alcohol will take over you. So if you use yourself to bezel the other thing, or to, to methamphetamine, or cocaine, you use yourself to it. Anytime you don't take it, everywhere is shaking. The whole place is shaking. And how you catch them, is they admit them in the hospital. They have been taking it in the house. They come to you and say they have fever. They admit them, say you have to stay in the hospital, we'll give you some drugs. So once you keep them in the hospital, for the next six hours, they don't have access because they can't take it in the hospital. They start shaking. Their whole body will tell you. You know that this one has been addicted to it mm. in the house. There is no glory there. It's savage, man made thing. Mm. And that's why I hate eye service. Eye service is bad. Unfortunately, the, where we find ourselves, eye service is the order of the day. Hypocrisy. A pastor was telling me when he was confiding in me a few days back. What another fellow pastor is doing to him. Why? Because he has this quality the other one doesn't have. And he tried to rubbish this one. And he said he's a child of What glory is there? Is it the church you are serving? Or is it the money in the church you are serving? You are serving God. Or you are serving human beings. Mm -hmm. Brethren, we need to 
on this occasion of anniversary, we need to check it. What are we what are we servants to? So you have come to ask me, Reverend, yes, so yeah, why are you wasting your time with these church people? Don't waste your time. Just go and write your board exam. Go write your board exam and start making money. And I ask, is it all about making money? All about my life. If it's all about making money, then I am of all men most miserable. Because the Bible, if you read the Bible, the Bible tells me, it tells me, and I remember and I'm quoting it now. It said, What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world? You know what everything in the world? All the dollar. If you shall gain. The problem is not writing the board. The problem is, why are you wasting time with these church people? That's where the problem is. It's not the problem. No. It is why are you wasting time? So the person's mind, he feels that this church, this service we are doing, these things we are doing is wasting time. That's where the problem is. But he doesn't know that I am a servant to the Lord. I am interested in what is going to make God happy more than what is going to make myself happy. And brethren, we need to come to that point. Not yesterday. Not last two days, not last month, but every day. Mm. We come to that point that all that we are interested is what is going to make God happy. And that's what God wants us as his servant. And you see why the Bible says in the book of Matthew, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things that the Gentiles seek, the clothes, what you will wear, what you will eat, where will that you shall, you should, you should clothe it. He said, the Gentiles seek these things. But when you seek first, what is seeking first? It's servant. It's service. Seeking the kingdom of God. Seeking what, is in, what makes God happy. What is that that makes God happy? That is what I'm seeking. Then he said, all these things will be added, including dollar. A young lady met me and said, he wants to marry. And I said, that was in Nigeria. And I said, you don't need to marry. All you need is to seek God. Seek God's kingdom. Delight us. The Bible says, delight myself in the Lord, mm -hmm. and he will grant me. Granting you the desires of your heart is not the priority. Okay. The priority is delighting yourself in the Lord. And somebody will stand and say, Reverend, why do you people spend three hours in service? Why do you, what are you people doing? What are you really doing? It's, uh, my three hours, I spend it when I should be making dollars. And I said, ah. You think he's wasting time? Uh, why are you praying? Why are you praying in the morning? You pray in the night. You pray in the morning. That means in the value of that person, praying is the Bible tells us. We read it here. I said I told you that this, this Jesus was praying, and the prayer he prayed wasn't a long sentence prayer. He said, God. If it be your will, let this cup pass over me. It's not even a long sentence. But you know what the Bible read it, the there. It said that we pray that prayer he prayed it. He prayed it three times. Three times. But the sweat that was coming out of his body blood. So that means there is something about prayer that is not about it's about agonizing in prayer. Hmm. Bodding in prayer. Aggression in prayer. So, and that is where servanthood is born. Because I remember so many times, I have I have good, wonderful things of how I'm going to, what I'm going to do with my life. I think of it, I plan it, plan it very well. 
then God begin to scatter all of them. He begin to make them bad, 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 bad. And I start crying. I said, so what is going to be my life now? What am I going to do? So in my brain, I'm already calculated that this is the way I'm going to do it. And he said, no, that's not the way. He will mark it back, mark it back, mark it back. Brethren, when God marks it back, that is that scissor that is cutting in that cloth. Mm. Because he wants to cut it in that way that he will bring the shape of that cloth where. That is if you allow him to. But if you want to cut it like that, and you say, this guy is painful too much, I never agree. And mind the way he's cutting it, no person is, no other person is there. Mm. So people may not even understand what you're saying. But that is the, where the, the, the glory is. Mm. The glory is not, when you see somebody succeed today, that success is started from days back or some years back. Mm. And the person made a decision to fail. Mm. Not necessarily himself, but to serve a cause. Brethren, it is very critical. The Lord is calling us. I know our time is past spent. We need to yield ourselves to serve the Lord. Because there is glory in it. Glory in this mortal existence. Glory in the world to come. I remember Baba Amos was sharing with us some, some years back of how this diocese started, when it started. They called them suffering bishops. Mm-hmm. They were suffering bishops. <laughs> suffragan bishops then. He was. They then were suffering bishops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, suffragan is suffering. They say suffering bishops. All lies they were told against him. Mama Abike told us sometimes they will come to church like this. There was a day they came to church. They used to go home with the key to open the place they used to. They are driven almost to the church and they forgot they, they pick up with the key. So then they say they have to go back to go and bring the key to come. And if one person, one new person comes to the church, hey, they will be so happy, they will give testimony. But today, you have a big cathedral there. Was it their interest? I don't think so. Mama was, Mama is a big, without pharmacy. They have big, if you go into pharmacy in this yeah. country, you make money. That's true. The point is, you have to uh, leave it for the world. Is it that you now abandon the, your career and now? No, that's not what we're saying. We're saying that put the interest of God first. Put God's interest. God's interest is more. And mind you, God doesn't leave any person that serve his interest unrewarded. He will not reward you. He may not reward you the way you want him to reward you. But definitely he will reward you. The Bible says, He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And God is not a man. God is a spirit. <laughs> Unfortunately, many people believe that ministry is all about Yarrar. I was listening to a message. It was a message. It was a clip. Somebody was narrating how in Nigeria who has been struggling with membership in the church went and arranged with somebody from the north. I don't know if you have listened to it. That a man that is full body, then he arranged with a pastor. That's why what God is going to do in this country. In this world, it's too, too much. He arranged with a pastor. He will become a lame man. So he will, the pastor will be doing, uh, will be doing a crusade. He will do crusade. He will do crusade. So 
then and they will pay him three hundred thousand naira. So he came from the north. He has to, he has to go and arrest him and question him. That's why he confessed. I know I know some of the prominent pastors in Nigeria that in fact there was one in Abuja that I know very well. They gave money to somebody. They said they promised the person that if he agreed that he was deaf and dumb and he can now speak. But they gave him they gave him two hundred thousand pesos and told him that after the crusade. They will not give him the power. Mm -hmm. So after the crusade, the man now did the miracle. Mm -hmm. And the man started hearing and speaking. Then is that asking for his money? <laughs> <laughs> is that asking for his money? Mm -hmm. Brethren, that is not servanthood. And they refused to give him his money. Because I went and called police. Mm -hmm. That's how we knew. I was working in the Ministry of Health Abuja. That's what I mean. So when some of them do all this thing they do on television, they do all this thing, I just laugh. That is not sad actually. The things that are done in secret, they will not be revealed. And the worst thing is that people do those things that they think people don't know. People don't see them. God is a rewarder of them that do them this way. Brethren is a call to serve God in holiness. Mm. It's a call to serve God, even if people are laughing at you. Even if people think that you don't, you, 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 this is your Jesus. This is your Jesus. Don't they serve this is your Jesus? Let's see how it's going to work out. <laughs> Brethren, it will work out. It will work out. Mm. Because as much as I remember my name, I remember the name of God called faithfulness. Mm. Because the Bible says that faithful is he who has called you. Mm. That one that is calling you say, I will make you my servant. Mm. Oh, oh, Holy Spirit is bringing another thing down. Do you know when people say, I, there are too many things. Time is gone. But I have to say, when God is calling to you, he's a servant. Mm -hmm. And he's calling Nebuchadnezzar. We have been reading it in the book of uh, Jeremiah. Nebuchadnezzar, my servant. Mm -hmm. Do you understand it? If you say Nebuchadnezzar, my servant, you say, how can Nebuchadnezzar be a servant of God? Mm -hmm. Is it possible? So God is a holy God. How can he be, how can Nebuchadnezzar be? He is a servant, he called him a servant. He is a servant. Because he's serving his interest. Oh. Oh. Even though the man is not holding himself. Mm -hmm. But he is he, he's serving the interest of God. <laughs> but the end is, is, mm -hmm. is because there are servants that will not partake in the glory. There are those that you will that will serve in interest, and when he finds, just tricked you by the side. Like I was telling my wife, I said, people don't move. On mm -hmm. God taught me that in, in medical school. Mm -hmm. People don't move until they see their interest. No person moves until they see his interest. Mm -hmm. If that person doesn't see his interest, don't move. Mm -hmm. And God said, now nah, see it this way. God does not move until his interest is protected. What is, when is, what, why would God be telling you? He will grant you the desires of your heart. Okay, the life thyself in the Lord. And he will grant you the desires of your heart. You know why? Because when you delight yourself in the Lord, you are serving the interest of God. Then that, your, that desire in your heart that you don't know who to tell, you don't know how it's going to happen. He sees in the heart. The Bible said he will grant you this desire of your heart, you're not telling him the desire of your heart, though. You're not the one telling him. But he, because you, you, you are happy with his work, you're not complaining. You're not, you not doing it, but you're complaining. No, you are delighting. Delight means rejoicing, being happy. 
you are delighting yourself in the Lord. Those your heart desire that maybe because of time they didn't even have, they didn't allow you to say it. Because they didn't allow you to talk about it. But these things are inside your heart. You say, No, no, I want to say it. Why are they not why are they stopping me? No. If the time is not there to say it, don't worry. God already knows. Mm. The important thing is delight yourself mm. in the Lord. And that is serving the interest of God. When God makes you his servant, mm -hmm. there's nothing you cannot do. Just mm -hmm. like he's going to do for Donald Trump. Hallelujah. <laughs> Some people send me a message and say, ah, uh, this man is a liar. This man is a liar. I say, Nebuchadnezzar, was he a righteous man? <laughs> Yeah, the, those people that, that God, you say, you're going to, to punish his own people. You see, there's a difference between the servant of, of God and the people of God. You know, there's a difference. He used his servant to punish, to punish, <laughs> to punish his people. Why? Because his people, his people refuse to listen. They are misbehaving. He had to teach them a lesson. But to teach them a lesson, he can't, he can't use his people to teach them a lesson. He has to bring his servant. Okay. The man that will do his interest. He will go and bring him and we are using to teach him a lesson very well. Until he does say, Hallelujah, 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 you are the Lord. Then God will say, We are leaving him alone. Because that man is serving the interest of God. If God moves him, he will move. If God says, No, you don't move that way. That, that's the servant of the Lord. Hmm. He may not be a righteous person. In a way, then if you, if you, if you accept that covenant relationship with God mm -hmm. and decide to let it be and not let it change him, then he will end. He will end in shame. He will not end in glory. When God, who is the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him, comes to reward those who diligently seek Him, He will not give him any reward because He didn't commit Himself, even though He was a servant of the Lord. That's why, like you see those uh, pastors, top passengers. Those people that Abba, 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 Abba. Oh, they are Marako. Oh, they are Marako. What? 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 Oh, they are Marako. Then after the boss has finished, he's still gone. They will go. <laughs> they will go. You don't find them 50 naira. And they will go. <laughs> <laughs> the people that enter the border, enter the border, and they are going. You will not be like that in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not be like that in Jesus' name. Amen. The call is the call to servants. Mm -hmm. Let's use ourselves to serve the Lord. There is glory in serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. Just like Mama Abike and uh, Baba uh, Amos, they serve the Lord. They may not have been that perfect. But they serve the Lord. Brethren, there is glory in serving the Lord. Mm. It may be painful at the time, mm. but wait for it, it's going to come. Okay. Let us pray. All to Jesus I surrender.
we answer that call that Jesus answered. Here am I, send me. Lord, we, here we are, send us. We ask that you will use us as servants, faithful servants. And Lord, and when you come to reward your people, Lord, you we will not miss our reward. Lord, we pray that self will die, Amen. flesh will die. Amen. Lord, we ask that you will help us to see your interest more than our own personal interest. Yes. Lord, as we serve you, you will grant the desires of our hearts. Amen. Lord, you will perfect everything that concerns us. Amen. No evil shall befall us, Amen. and no plague shall come near our dwelling. Amen. The plans of the enemy shall never come to pass in our Amen. Those are waiting for us to fail. Mm. Those are asking us, where is your God? Mm. They shall be put to shame. Mm. And Lord, your eternal counsel and purpose shall come to pass. Mm. And we shall see that glory. Mm. And we shall partake in that glory. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm. Amen. Amen. Let's reaffirm our faith in the works of the night victory. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, through him all things are made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became the of the Virgin Mary and was made man. man. He was saved. He was crucified and the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. I see the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to draw the living and the dead. And his kingdom has no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who has so he is worshiping and glorified. We believe in the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, the Catholic and Baptist forgiveness of sins, for the liberation of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. My hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. My hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. Let you all touch
with the team do the work of an evangelist to fill your ministry, holding at the Anglican Cathedral Church of the Resurrection in Indianapolis, September the 3rd, Thursday to Sunday, the September the 6th. Um, we, we, we encourage who can attend to attend, and then those who will not be able to attend to join with the Zoom that will be posted. Um, Bishop Richard and Mama's address will be brought at the church, and individuals are encouraged to send their checks, make it stable to Anglican Diocese of Trinity. Registration is 160. Uh, for those who will be physically present in Indianapolis, then for those who will be joining on, uh, online, uh, registration is $50. We thank God for the strength to fast through this past week. I know it must, it must not have been easy, but the Lord has been our help. And we trust Him to help us in the years and the days ahead in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So the other information are there. And then the Bible lesson for the last Sunday in the month of August is also there. The finances of the church is as it is. We want to thank everyone who wore their uniform today, and I appreciate you are look, all looking beautiful. And mm -hmm. um, and those who could not or who don't have, uh, you are all looking fine. The Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have our picture after the service of anniversary. It's not. Uh, and thank God. Amen. Amen. Our prayer time is. Um, investment to get Higher, higher. Every day. I leave my Jesus higher. Every day. Ho, ho. Higher. Thank you. 
He gave you thanks. He gave you to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of your covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ is coming again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, remember his offering of himself made once upon the cross and proclaim his might to return to the and We look for his coming in glory. We celebrate with this bread and this cup. He's one perfect sacrifice. I sent through him a great high priest. These are sacrifices of thanks and praise. As we eat and drink this holy gift, in the presence of the divine majesty, renew us by your spirit mm -hmm. and inspire mm -hmm. us with your love. Mm -hmm. And unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him and, in, and with him and in him by the power of the Holy Spirit. We Lord who stand before you on earth and in heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, songs of everlasting praise. Blessings and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is in Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Right. Prayer of humble ourselves all together. We do not ashamed to come to the table. Merciful Lord, something in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercy, we are not worthy so much to gather up the sons of the table. We are the same Lord, which is the honest to have mercy. Grant us Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which He gave for His love. Eat and drink in remembrance that He died for you, and feed on Him in your heart by faith with thanks. So the blood of Jesus sets me free. I pay the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets me free from Satan. The blood of Jesus sets me free. I plead the blood of Jesus. As our Savior, so to our Father in heaven, our Lord be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
for the rest of the people, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Prayer of thanksgiving and dedication all together. documents. Lord, we pray that your, you will make a way for your children in Jesus' name. Amen. The plans of the enemy shall crumble and fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that this matter shall be by the creeds of the water. The command by the words of the Holy One to the intent that men we know that God rules and reigns in the kingdom of man. And get to know the, the base of all men to all of your children here in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And unto God, the gracious mercy God is with us, God is with us, God, God is with us, God is with us, so our Father said, God across the field of battle, Lord of the Holy War, cry, run, no one's day. Be with you. And also with you. 
you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in, in the, the name, name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. My hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. We are the blessings of the Lord. We are blessings of the Lord. We are blessings of the Lord. May you freely be blessed. Hallelujah. May you freely be blessed. As you fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. 